Hi, today we are going to take a look how signal noise are affecting the IP communication between consoles and repeater. For this demonstration, we are going to use the Smart PTT Enterprise version 9.13. And how you can see on the topology, we are connecting to just one master repeater in IP side connect. First, we are going to confirm the normal behavior. Let's do a group call. Radio main test 1 to 3. Radio main test 1 to 3. Slot number two. Radio main test one to three. Test one to three. And now, private call. Radio main test one three. Test one to three. We're gonna make up a call from portable radios. Radio main test one to three. Test one to three. Test one to three. How you can see, we got all the air traffic movement telling us that the communication is going out from the repeaters. We got the call colors. We got the sounds bars telling us that the audio from the microphone is reaching the console. And also all the right colors when we press the PTT, frontal groups, and private calls. Now we are going to test the system with a noise floor or signal, high noise signal affecting the repeater side. Uh, we are going to start with the toll groups, calls, radio main test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3, test slot number 2, test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. How you can see, we got the right color changes on the calls, we got the right activity on the radio server. Also, when we press the PTT, we got the gold color in the sounds bar movement on the console meaning that everything is connecting and the audio is supposed to be going through. But uh, how you can see on this video, on the portable radio, it's not receiving any traffic. Now we are going to test the communication for the portable re in a private call. Radio main test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. How you can see, it's not even connecting to the repeater infrastructure. Let's test another Portable radio. Radio main test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. Now we are going to press the toll group number 10. Test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. Test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. Sometime after that, uh, the toll group is taking longer to connect to the repeaters. As you can see, we don't have any movement on the air traffic. A easy way to confront this situation is that if you are using a Smart PTT with monitoring license, uh, please go to Tools, Monitoring, and Open Diagnostic. On Diagnostic, select the repeater, go to Diagnostic, and Refresh. Right now, this repeater is receiving minus 86. It's a noise floor generator that I'm using, and these numbers are really, really high when you compare with the code block from the repeater. The repeater was programmed to don't transmit if the noise floor or signals noise are more than minus 100 dBm. If you want to know more about these settings, uh, click on the settings and click help on the CPS, and Motorola Solution will let you know more details about these settings. Right now, those numbers are affecting all IP communication between consoles and repeaters. I'm going to transmit from one of the portables one more time. How you can see, sometimes it's getting the busy noise. I'm going to transmit for another portable with a high power. Radio main is 1-3. As you can see, this portable was able to open the communication uh, because the, um, the repeater is receiving minus 34 dBm for the transmission for the portable and really close to the repeater. That's why the, the number and this signal is stronger than the noise floor. But I should try to talk from the console. Radio main test 1 to 3, test 1 to 3. 
is not even connecting portable radios and the toll groups they are not able test one two three test one two three even when we see all the right colors we got the right signals on the radio server activity and we see the sounds movement we don't see any traffic on the air monitoring now I'm gonna turn it off the signal noise floor I'm gonna refresh diagnostic how you can see right now is only minus 122 is clear signal uh, normally what you are gonna see minus 117 16 15 those are good numbers and now let's test one more time I'm gonna switch one of the portable radios to slot number two and test one more time radio maintenance test one three radio maintenance test one three radio maintenance test one three radio maintenance test one two three 